Hey, got the question right here. Hey Lloyd, I have purchased your approaching system and I'm starting to go out, but I have to yet to make my first approach. Every time I do, I get crippled with anxiety and fear. I am afraid it will be awkward or someone will judge me. How can I get over this fear and start having success like I see you do in your infield footage? Thanks. Well, dude, congratulations on purchasing it. Congratulations on actually taking the steps to, you know, you've at least you've gotten out of the house. Like, that's a win. You know, most people just stay in the house all day and, and don't do anything. So, congrats on that. Now, I would encourage you to actually watch the modules in there because there's a huge section where I talk about exactly this. I mean, fear is one of the biggest things, obstacles, that you guys are going to have to deal with. In fact, I would say that your ability to deal with fear will dictate your ability to be successful in this area. And not just here, but in life in general general. If you let the fear dictate your behavior, then you're not going to be doing the right kinds of things to be successful. So this is something that I talk about uh, extensively in the approaching system, but I'll give you a little sneak peek here. Guys, if you want to purchase it, this is your last chance to be able to do so because I'm going to be turning off sales at midnight tonight. So I highly recommend if you want to get in, you click the link below and get signed up and I'll see you there. Okay, cool. So let's answer this guy's question. Now, what he wants to know is he wants to know how to get over the fear. This is something that normal guys experience in their everyday life. I mean, I myself still feel a little bit of fear when I walk up and talk to a girl that I think is pretty or cute or even just a random stranger in general. Okay, why do we feel this fear? Well, we fear this we feel this fear very strongly because of you know outdated biological mechanisms and also as well too because we're putting you know these women on the pedestal we're not feeling very confident if you haven't done something before it's gonna make sense that you're gonna feel very very nervous to do it so what can you do to get over this fear okay I talk about this and I demonstrate it um, you know many times in the system but start like what you're thinking about dude is you're thinking about walking up and talking to this girl getting her phone number and then organizing a date Okay, that's really cool, and if you were like me and had done this a bunch of times, it'd be easy for you to do, but because you haven't done that yet, you're thinking about, like, you're thinking at step nine, okay? You're at step one, and you're thinking, how do I get to step nine? But what you should be thinking about is how to get to step two, okay? So this is how you get to step two. Stop thinking about walking up to the prettiest girl and, like, talking with her and getting her phone number, but instead, maybe start with baby steps. Let's start with just looking at people. Let's start with just making eye contact and smiling. Let's start with maybe saying hello, just waving and saying hello first, okay? Once we learn how to do these things, we're gonna start feeling a lot better. In fact, that's a recommendation that I would give everybody when they go out, to get yourself in the social mode, to start feeling more confident that you can do this, start with little baby steps like that. What it's gonna tell your brain is it's gonna tell your brain, hey, I can walk up and talk to random people. Hey, I can say hello, or hey, I can make a connection with some random person. But if you just walk out and you've been sitting at home at your computer all day and now you're expecting yourself to talk to a random human being and have a connection with them, that's a really far jump and your brain knows it. So it's not ready for that yet. And that's where the fear is setting in. So what I recommend that you do is you start by going out and doing these baby steps. I give a whole plan in the, in the practical approaching system about how to do this. So take a look at that and then follow those instructions and I guarantee you, you're gonna be doing a lot better. You're gonna be building up more confidence week in and week out rather than being succumbing to fear. Because if you do that, you're gonna be like how my first approach went and, and my first approach sucked. Like it was, it went really, really badly. Um, I walked up to her. I said hi, and then like I said some actually some dumb pickup opener that like I'm not even gonna repeat on camera, um, and it she was like what that's freaking weird, <laughs> and then I'm like oh but like I'm alpha and like tried to make it work and uh, and then she just kind of like walked away and I got such a bad taste in my mouth after doing that like I could tell like I you know I made her feel uncomfortable that like and I made myself feel uncomfortable that I just, I didn't do another approach for a year. Like I was so petrified about doing that. You know, if I had come at it the right way that I talk about in the program, then none of that would have happened. You know, it would have gone, uh, it, would, it would have been normal, it would have been chill, it would have been, it would have been great. Uh, but because I didn't do that, I ended up like hurting myself even more because now I was even more afraid to go up and walk up to a random person and talk to them because of the bad, the bad experience that I had. So fast forward, you know, to like, you know, just recently, 
Um, I ended up being in the same situation. I saw I was, I'm in a small town uh, just outside of Austin, Texas, and there's only like 7,000 people here, so not many people, but you know, there was a girl at a restaurant that I saw. And uh, anyway, I just see her in front of me at the restaurant. I just, I say something, I just make conversation. We talk for a little bit. Anyway, I'm eating my dinner. She comes back, slips her phone number um, underneath my wine glass, tells me to meet me up, um, tells me she's gonna be at this other bar later. Anyway, I text her and then we ended up having a lot of fun that night, okay? That would have never happened if I hadn't learned to walk up to any girl at any time, anywhere. You know, learning this stuff is a superpower, but gaining superpowers doesn't happen like in the movies. You don't get bitten by a radioactive spider and the next day you're swinging from building to building and doing flips and stuff. It takes time. It takes, it's like building a skill. You know, the first time you pick up a basketball, you're not gonna be able to shoot back-to-back -back threes. What you are going to be able to do is you are going to be maybe just start with layups and start with free throws and then work your way up to that. Okay, so start step by step, dude, and you're going to be able to gain this superpower and uh, follow the modules. It's all in there. <laughs> and guys, again, if you are looking to purchase the approaching system, the practical approaching system, please click the link down below. I'm going to be shutting off sales at midnight, so I would highly recommend that if you want to purchase it, do it now. Don't let the fear control you. Fear is the biggest enemy of success. And if you're afraid, then this, that's basically what's gonna stop you um, from being successful. Remember, the biggest threat to anxiety is action. So start by taking the right kinds of action. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. And good luck out there.